ain't mixed knocking you and beating you down. That's not what the God of the Bible is like. The God of the Bible is love. And he is calling you out. He is using me as a witness today with my brothers. Is your life not working for you? Is it shackled up? Uh, is, is it leading to a path of destruction and pain and negativity? Because if it is, I'm not here to patronise. I'm here to say, Jesus Christ is the way to life. He is the answer to people. He is the answer to all your problems. And the reason why you shake your head is, how do you know? I'm going to ask you. The Bible says, do not be anxious about anything. 
How many of us today are anxious? I'll say to you, look, Nottingham, the Bible says do not be anxious about anything, but how many of us struggle with anxiety and probably on a daily basis? I'm out here with my arm tied up, as a metaphor say, I have the answer to your anxiety. I to your anxiety in your life, then you please stop getting fresh. We are here for you today. We're not here to have a battle or debate. We're not here to cause trouble. But we are here because we know that we have an answer for all the anxiety in your life. The Bible says, do not be anxious about anything. So if you want to receive some prayer today for your anxiety in your life, then I genuinely ask you, my brother here, and my brother on the side there, Anyone's got any anxiety today? I know the answer to break free from that anxiety. You don't be telling me you never got anxious in your life. You don't be telling me you're Mr. or Mrs. Perfect. There ain't no such thing. If you're anxious in your life today, ask Jesus to solve the problem. He's got the whole world in his hands, man. We ain't got to worry about nothing. All the anxiety chaining you up, you worry about that job interview, you worry about that deadline at work, you worry about that coursework submission at school. Hey, if you do your bit and you pray, you ask God to help you, you don't have to be shackled up no longer. You don't have to be shackled up by anxiety and fear. Because God's love cast out perfect fear. That's so true. And you know why? You can say, you know, Rory, you're wrong. But you know what? God's love has found out any anxiety that you're wrong about. Because you're out here to share it with you. Give it a go today, Nottingham. I say to you, genuinely, give it a go. Ask God to help you with your fear and anxiety. And he will smash those shackles of anxiety in your life. Alright, we're going to sing And that is a good thing. The NHS is amazing, beautiful institution. But now there is no further doubt. That anxiety is amazing. I'm not good. I've got a great word for someone today. I know there's some people walking by who've got anxiety. And I want to say to you, in shame you with love, that God wants to remove that anxiety. It's not of Him. It's not of Him. God's love cast out anxiety. That's what the Bible says. You can be set free today, Nottingham. You can be set free from your anxiety and all your worries. I know I'm talking to someone. I know someone out there has got anxiety. So today, ask Jesus to help you out. You don't have to embarrass yourself like me. But if you've got anxiety in your life at any point, you ask God to help you out of it, and I promise you, hand on heart, Jesus will answer your prayers. Some of you are shackled by this, with anxiety. I know I've told you so much. I've got a prophetic word. God told me today that there are people going to walk by who have got anxiety. And I say to you in love, do you want to be free? Do you want to be set free? Jesus went to the cross. You probably haven't heard that before, but that is true. Jesus Christ died and bled a horrible death for your anxiety. That's how much he loves you. Some of you don't know, hear this the most bizarre, ridiculous message, but it is true. Jesus went to the cross for your anxiety. He do not want you walking around shackled like this. Because I'm not, I'm not judging you, but some of you walk around like this in your state of fear and anxiety. This is what you, this is how you present yourself in, in anxiety and fear. And God wants to set you free today. He's so good. Why on earth, why on earth should any of us, any of us walk around in fear and anxiety like this, basically? No one, no one, no one ever should be walking in anxiety and fear. No one ever. 
it's robbery. And we come out here to help you say, we love you. This is how much we love you. If you want friends, you want friends. Shackled up by anxiety and fear. And I say no more. I know I'll be told to someone today. Don't be telling me hundreds of people are not even going through with anxiety and fear every day. Because if you do, God can help you out today. What on earth have you got to lose? Good Jesus to go today. So we are. If we're not free, we're shackled up. You know what the horrible thing about deception is? When we think we're free, and we're genuinely not about Jesus. So I say to you today, look, do you want to be free? There's a few people not here today why we're free. There's a God today. He has made you. He has fearfully and wonderfully made every one of us. But there's an issue. We've ran away from it. We've ran away from our amazing creator and sustainer. And we've decided to be like this. Instead of being free. So I say to you, look, who wants to be free today, man? There ain't no one I know who wants to be shackled like this. There is a fact, there is no one who wants to be like walking around like this. So why don't you ask Jesus Christ in your heart today? And he can set you free from your sin and your issues, your worries, your fears, your anxiety, your behaviour problems. I tell you, man, my arms are starting to get tired, but I don't care. Because this is what Jesus did. And he was crucified. That's how much Jesus loves you. So if you need to hear that, Jesus loves you, man. You know what's horrible about Jesus? Jesus never deserved to be crucified or arrested or beaten or mocked. And yet he took it because he had a mission was to be arrested being crucified and then to resurrect from the dead so that us, we, can go to heaven when we die. Some of you need to hear that today because I'm telling you now, life is short, man. Who are you and I to say, I'm going to live tomorrow? That is life. Jesus Christ had a mission and he was arrested, he was crucified and he resurrected for your sake. Jesus didn't do it for himself. He could have sat in heaven and tied us all off. He could have said, they had their chance, sodden, that Jesus is still back. And they're not Oh man, Jesus is good man. Jesus is the best. Jesus Christ is the pride of all of us. And yet the shepherd is married to people. They said no. I don't think so. He said, I love the people of Nottingham so much. I love them so much. I'm going to come down from heaven. Oh, yeah. He said, I'm going to come down from heaven for the people of Nottingham and the rest of the world because I love them so much. He said, I'm going to have a mission and I'm going to complete it. Not get banged. Jesus said, I'm going to live a life, a perfect legal life that none of you can live and then I'm going to get arrested, then I'm going to get crucified and be in a box and spatter, and then I'm gonna die. There is someone, my dear, there is someone who has died for you, his name is Jesus Christ. And not only did he resurrect from the dead, there's living proof. Over 500 people witnessed the resurrected Christ. They did. They flipped did. And then he went up to heaven. The reason he went to heaven is because he said, I have now made the way for the people of Nottingham. 
Now when you die, all you have to do, Nottingham, is accept Jesus' perfect record that he died on the cross. He really did. And then when you die, you ain't gonna worry about a thing. I'll stand here smiling because ever since I was about five years old, I've been cacking my pants for death. Because I know, because God put it in my heart, you are all gonna die. And I knew I was gonna die, Nottingham. I said, I know I'm gonna die, and I'm flipping bobbing it. And I cried and I cried and I was scared of dying. I thought death is a horrible thing. I don't want to die. And I was crying my eyes out. But as soon as I accepted Jesus Christ into my life, I knew the answer. And I said, I ain't got to worry about a thing no more. Because when I die, I know where I'm going. And that is heaven. Not from any of any of my record, not from any of my good deeds or all oh, Rory's a good person. That don't fly. I am I'm flawed. I make mistakes just like you. But the difference is, Jesus Christ offered me his perfect record of life on earth. And he said, son, if you accept it, you will be with me in paradise. So when you die, you don't have to worry no more. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm speaking the truth today. Because death is facing us all. I don't care if you're five years old or 50. I'm going to die, you're going to die. And I was terrified, but I've been set free from these shackles. And not just sin, but death. I see it, I smile because it's real, it's genuine and it's raw and it's authentic in my life. Jesus set me free, man. I ain't no better than you. I am your equal. There's one difference. I now have Jesus' record. I say to you, do you want him today? Do you want him today? Oh man, do you want him today? Because he is calling some of you out right now. I ain't saying it to be big-headed. I feel God's love flowing in my heart right now. There's people stopping and he's getting their attention because Jesus is infatuated. He is madly, truly, deeply in love with you. And he says, yeah, I'd rather make a fool out of my saint, Rory. I'd rather make a fool out of this man, Rory, today so that you will get attention to my love for you because I was arrested. I was crucified for your sake and I took your sin because I love you so much. That's what he said. Jesus Christ has died for some of you today and you don't even care. You don't want to know about it. When are we going to stop? When are we going to say there is a reality of death in our life? And say, where am I going? What is the answer to death? Because some of us will die one day. It's every nine seconds, every nine seconds someone dies. And we just wave it on by like it don't matter. I've had people die in my life, man. And I know, I know they went to hell. There ain't no way you can say, oh, he's a good person. Heaven is a perfect place, man. You can't get to heaven on your record. It's blasphemy, man. You have to have Jesus Christ in your life. And that's why I'm crying. Because I'm crying for your soul. Because no one else will. We're too grateful, man. We're too grateful. United Kingdom is so blessed. We don't even know it, we're so comfortable. We'd rather walk on by, we'd rather carry on with our lives. We give eternity a chance to think, where is my eternal destination? Where am I going? What is, what is my life? Do I have a purpose? Do I have identity? Because some of you don't. And it breaks God's heart, it breaks his heart so much. God is crazy about you, man, you don't even know it. So why don't you stop and cry? I'm not judging you, but stop with a pride, stop with a stony heart, and just say, do you know what? I've heard about this God, and this looks real on this guy today. I'm gonna give him a go. Please, I beg you, don't, don't be prideful like I was for 20 years. Don't miss another day without God. Don't do it. Oh man, I tell you, I'd, I'd be out here regularly with my brothers. I've tried it all, I've tried it. I've tried the party, I've tried the women, I've tried the football, I've tried the successful lifestyle, I've tried the being popular, and it don't work. So some of you, please, I beg you, stop the pride. Don't, don't play off God and kick him out of your life too much longer, I promise you. The things that you see, the things that you're searching, aren't satisfying you. There's a void, there is a massive void in your heart. And it's because God has placed him there to worship him. He is so fucking, oh my gosh, he is crazy about you, man. He is so, 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 so
You are Nottingham. You don't have to be some special paragraph. Just say, Jesus Christ, I thank you that you died for me. And you changed my life around. That you'd rather die than be without me. I accept you as my Lord, my Saviour. And bang, it's a done deal. Because in Romans 10, it's in the Bible, it says, Those who confess with their mouth and believe in their heart, he says, They shall be saved. It's not if, maybe, maybe not, not I'm not sure. Jesus says, It's a done deal. about the one true God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and the one who created you and says, wow, Ooh, look at you, I made you, you are fearfully wonderfully made, man, you are something special. So it's time to press the review button, guys, and go back to our creation, you have been made for, because you are all beautiful, but you just need a little polish on. So if you need, do you know when you go to, you know, take your car for a car wash, you know, my, my car's getting a bit dirty, man. I need a shine. I need that wax on. That's what God wants to do today. If you want this thing from sin, and it's just getting your car a little bit dirty, and he's just saying, I'm going to give it a wax job. But you don't have to pay nothing. You don't have to pay for the wax job because Jesus took you all the cross. So it was free, but it wasn't. But that's what God wants to do. He's a shiny one. He said, wow, well, look at you. Look at you, man. That fresh cup. Look at you guys, I made you. Man, God be sitting in heaven, smiling, shining down at you lot. As he goes, look at what I made. He said, Jesus, nah, we can't leave you people. God the Father said, Jesus, we ain't gonna leave like You go down to earth, this is 2,000 years ago. You go down to earth and you make it right. Jesus, you made their wrongs right. Let's just get this one. Oh, man. That's what he did for us, man. Jesus made our wrongs right. And you can reject it if you want. Because that's the beauty. God has made us robots. He made us free, willing human beings. A 
God said, I'm going to give you free will. You're not a robot. You can say yes or no to me. But don't break me. Don't break my heart. Don't reject me no longer. Not you, but you're going to Why did he create us? You know, I was asked a question. I don't have to put any risk on the line here because God is real. So I'm going to say to you around the this. Why is I on God another day? I'm calling you out, man, because I flipping love you with all my heart. You're missing out right now on Jesus Christ in your life. Why are you playing off, man? It's I don't know. take the risk today because what this guy's saying looks a bit quirky it looks a bit fresh it looks real it looks authentic it's because it is so don't put your quid on a lotto and hope for the best where you can put your whole life in your Jesus Christ I love you darling God bless in Jesus name